Hello friends, welcome to Something New Saturday, the monthly series where I get to show you a new toy on Saturday. This is the first one for the year. This Saturday's new toy is a stamp set from Hero Arts. Um, I was in Joanne the other day looking for a canvas bag to decorate for a vacation we're taking and they had uh, stamps on sale. So I picked up this cute little strawberry set from Hero, and I mean seriously. We've got a strawberry bunch, a single heart flower. Thank you very much. You know, I like a pun. Have an extraordinary birthday. <laughs> you know, I like a pun. I've got a slimline card, and I pre-cut a piece of craft cardstock that measures 3 by 8 inches. We're going to stamp these strawberries all over this piece of craft card stock with, you know, jet black or cribal. So let's get these guys on here. Are they precious? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to use the strawberry bunch and I'm just going to stamp it all over this um, craft card stock willy nilly. All the different directions, etc., etc. Okay. This way. Okay. So that is as filled in as it's going to get. All right, so we're going to color these strawberries with watercolor pencils and a water brush. Get my old green off of here. First thing, we're going to use this lighter green over all of the leaves. And I'm going to go in and color in a circular motion. This um, watercolor paper is B paper, B-E-E, -E, like bumblebee. And it's very, very textured paper. I like it a lot. I actually made a um, little sketchbook to take on vacation with me in a couple weeks. And I like to sketch with watercolor. And I made it out of this paper. I like textured paper. Circular motions. Get all of the leaves, big leaves. And I'm just going to go in, move that around a little bit with this wet brush. Now I'm not going for perfection here. It's watercolor. I'm not one of those, um, you know, my watercolor's got to be super realistic type of people. I actually appreciate watercolor because it can just be loose and messy and that's okay what it wants to do i'm happy to oblige now i'm going to go in with the darker and just kind of go in the veining a little bit and then i will smooth that out with the water and go in while it's still wet and it kind of already starts to move out a little bit on its own and then I'm going to go into the bigger or the smaller leaves, like the little caps, and color over those. And some of that's wet, so you can see where that pencil is really mushing onto there. You see the difference where it's wet versus where it's not. And then we'll just go in with this water again. Blend that out a little.
turn that out a little. Get our caps all painted. Okay, so now let's move on to the strawberries themselves. I'm going to take this kind of corally orangey red and kind of go along the center of the strawberries. And again, big circular motion. Circular motion. Make sure all the green's off. Blend that out. And see what a pretty color that is? And then we're going to go in with the red red, which, let's see, this is 121. And the Faber-Castell numbering. And we're going to kind of go around the outer edge of the strawberry. So it's going to give us like a highlighted section. Very, very easy way to do that. And then you just blend that. So you've got a nice little darker edge and highlighted center. And if you want that to be more intense, you can always go in and add more color, but I'm probably not going to do that. I kind of want this to be quick. There. And then for our little flowers, I'm just going to take this darker yellow. I was going to use two. Well, yeah. Do the very center with the darker yellow. And then kind of do a ring around that with the lighter. Make sure all the colors off. I'm just going to blend that out. My flowers are kind of kind of a little messy, but that's all right. I want a mess. <laughs> So we're going to let this dry and then cut it out. Okay, some good old cutter bees. We cut this out to go on our card front. Okay, my little strawberries are cut out. I'm going to put them about like this. So let's get this card assembled. This is going to be very simple. This is just going to go on the front of this uh, one line card. I'm not coloring that. It's just going to stay black and white. Which way do I want it though? No, I think I do want it that way. Just put that right on the front. And then I want this coming off probably about here. I'm going to pop it. Now remember what I always say. Watercolor paper. Use wet glue because otherwise it won't stay down. So we're going to use a little white fun foam here. Clean up some scrappy scraps. Okay. Put glue on the back of all this here foam. And glue it to the card front. I'm going to do a little different than I thought it was going to. But right there. Hold it down for a second because it's a little, you know, a little more work to get that stuck. I'm going to stamp the sentiment onto just a scrap of the watercolor paper.
And I'm just going to take a little bit of this coral red. Just kind of add a little bit of color on here. And take the water brush. And then I'm going to let this dry and then trim around it. So I just basically turn that into a sentiment strip. But I think I'm going to run the edge of this on the black ink pad so it kind of stands out a little more. We're not feathering it to the front, just running it along the edge. Kind of like as if it were a black sentiment strip that we trimmed down and we were using the marker. This is the same, same thing, just using the ink pad instead. I'm going to use a little scrap of foam on that too. And I'm going to get my party mix out here. Just do a few sequins and things. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's see what we have here. Definitely add a heart or two, right? There. Fading a little. White sequin. Little gold confetti. Always some gold confetti. I'm just in love with it. The name of it is actually Seashore, but it's just oh, perfect for so many things. Just a few sequins. And then the last thing I want to do is stamp this cluster inside the card. So we'll get our Jet Black Archival. That's my favorite. And we'll just stamp this down here. And voila, no naked insides. Alrighty, friends, here's our very first Something New Saturday card project. Our new toy was the stamp set from Hero Arts. Very sweet little strawberry set. So I did a slimline card with a 3x8 craft panel on the front, and I just stamped the, the strawberry cluster all over it. We stamped the strawberry cluster on watercolor paper and watercolored it with watercolor pencils. How many times can you say watercolor in one sentence? <laughs> and then stamped the sentiment on a scrap of the same watercolor paper, add a little color, ink the edge, and voila. This stuff's popped up. And for no naked insides, little stampy stamp on the inside. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, when this goes up, the stamps should be 40% off at Joanne's. So go check them out. They carry a lot of Hero Arts there. And that's uh, a good deal. Remember, be excellent to each other and go make something. Bye-bye.